Hey, Greg, I got this whole new microphone, you know. Mm-hmm. I've always wanted to do one thing with a microphone like this. What's that? I've always wanted to say, and now here's the first item up for bids on The Price is Right. <laughs> Hi everyone, we're back. Hi. It's been a while since we've just sat down and talked with you folks. But uh, we just wanted to give you a little bit of an insight and an update as into what's been going on during the Rona Chronicles. <laughs> the never-ending shit show that is America. Well, the United States. I don't want to bring Canada into this. You know, or, or even Mexico's well doing slightly better than us <laughs> i mean i don't i don't know please don't write in please it's not been easy for us we've been up and down and sometimes way way down man yeah, heavens how's it been going from from your personal perspective uh, okay i guess still working from home five days a week eight hours a day and I'm still going to my job five days a week, eight hours a day. And it, it just seems like that you're spinning your wheels in the mud and going nowhere fast with the very stupid leadership in this country and in this state as well. Because let's not kid ourselves. We have just as dumb of a governor as we do a president. And the whole world is laughing at the United States right now. But the whole world has its problems too. And I don't know when we're ever going to get back to normal. I don't know. Who knows at this point? But there is some positive things for us that might happen in the very near future. And let's just say that we are... We are thinking about making a major life purchase. What do we want to say? Well, I mean, we are considering the possibility of moving closer to town. A lot of puzzle pieces have to fall into place for that, so we're just kind of seeing where everything lies at this point. So, And we very much could end up staying right here in the end. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we'll let you know what happens one way or the other. But suffice it to say that the next two to three months, it's going to be a very interesting time. You know, and the good thing about it this time is that it's not going to be anything like it was two years ago. No frantic moving, no craziness, no rushing around. I mean, those of you who have been with us have seen the vlogs. You know how that all went, and you know... It, the funny thing is, the funny thing is, for the months that we had to live mostly apart and only see each other on the weekend, and we were just really settling down after all of that between July and March, and we were really starting to feel comfortable, and we were starting to socialize and make friends and whatever, and then the coronavirus happened, and it brought all of that to a screeching halt. Yeah. That doesn't mean we don't have friends at all. We People stay in touch with us. We still stay in touch with people, you know. So th there yeah. is still a community happening. and uh, It's just very different right now. It is. It is just very scary, you know. It is very scary. And I'm sure a lot of you are scared out there as well. So don't feel like you're alone. You're not alone. We feel it right along with you, you know. But the one thing that I can say for sure, the one thing that I can suggest for sure for everyone to do is make sure you are A, registered to vote, B, and that you do vote on November 3rd. Yeah. Because it is very, very, very important that we undo all this hell that we've been through for the last four years. And it, and it has been four years of hell. Yeah. Just when you think it couldn't go any lower, it goes lower. 
I mean, of course, of course, we're going to be political here. This is our platform, you know, and we can't stress it enough. For the sake of humanity, we have to, we have to do better. We have to, we have to vote the idiot out and all of his cronies. Get them out too. And that's really important because if we don't get the cronies out, nothing will change. It'll only just stay the, stay kind of the same, you know. So we are urging you, begging you, please vote November 3rd and vote down the ticket, vote blue, please. And, and don't think that your vote doesn't matter because it does. It does matter. It does matter. And don't let anyone or any entity or whatever try to take your vote away from you. If you go to vote on election day and you encounter long lines or whatever, stay in the line and look up the number of your local election bureau. Call them. Report the problem. You know, you have a right to vote and you should use your right to vote. Early vote if you have to, you know, or get a mail-in ballot. You can request a mail-in ballot no matter what anyone says, you know, it's not fraud, okay? We, we have voted in the primaries and in the runoff election. We have used mail-in ballots. It's super, super simple. They send it to you. You send it back. We sent off our ballots for the August runoff here in DeKalb County, Georgia, just a couple days ago. They'll probably get there on Monday. You know, we can check online to see if the ballots have been received and accepted or not. You know, it's super easy to do. And don't let anybody fool you. There's lots of provisions in place to keep, you know, uh, fraud from happening. Mm -hmm. So it's very, 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 very unlikely for any fraud to happen. Yeah, don't, don't let these idiots say, oh, voting by mail is fraudulent. No, it's not. There is such a low degree of that happening, you know, that it is just so insignificant. <sighs> okay, I feel better that I've gotten that off my chest. But I will say this, going back to the whole thing of what's going to happen for us here in the next couple of months, you know, there, there are a couple of people who are very close to us at this moment who are, uh, one of them is very pivotal in this process. And I will dare say that when all it's all said and done, Hopefully, you're going to meet these people. We'll find a way to make it happen. If we have to do a Zoom call and record it, we'll make it happen. You know, we will, we will, let, we will have them on as guests on our channel, you know. And uh, some of you out there already know who it is. Keep the, the, if you know, good for you. I mean, <laughs> there, there are really no secrets here. But... Uh, <laughs> We already talked about them before, but they're there and we want to we want to visit them again because they just a few months ago moved into their own place in, in uh, the uh, old fourth ward here in Atlanta or in Atlanta. We're not in Atlanta. We're in the suburbs, but hopefully we're going to be living in midtown or downtown Atlanta when all is said and yeah, done. At least at least somewhere closer to town at the very least. Well, that well, that's our hope. And it's it's looking like it might happen at this point, you know. Mm -hmm. But uh, we, of course, of course, if you follow us on social media, we'll keep you kind of posted. You know, there are certain things we can't talk about. If it ends up not happening now, I'm, I'm sure it will eventually. Mm -hmm. If not this year, probably next year. Right. Right. So those of you who have went through this process that we're talking about uh, know how this thing goes. And we're finding out for the first time ourselves. You know, we've done our homework. You know, we're not flying blind into it. Yeah, it's a decision that we have long been considering. Yeah. I you mean, know. There's, there's a lot of number crunching left to be done. and We've crunched uh, I, our numbers. <laughs> and yeah. And a lot of it depends on how that goes. So. Yes. So, so it's exciting. So we want to give you guys something to look forward to with us and just get you some good vibes. Because we all could use some good vibes right now in these trying times that we're going through that's for sure and we're here to give you some positivity because lord knows we could use some positivity and we want to share our positivity with you you know so uh just smile as much as you can and try to 
think good thoughts as much as you can, that there are a lot of people in the world that still care and still want to do good in the world, you know? Sure, there's a lot of evil out there that's trying to undo us and who we are and what we stand for, but there are a lot of good people out there, and those are the people we like to talk to, we like to associate with. All of you, our followers, are good-hearted people, and we th we love each and every one of you. What else can we say? Yeah. All right. Anything else you want to say? I don't think so. I think that pretty much covers it. Anything you want to say to our viewers? You know, we, we love you all, and thank you for sticking with us. <laughs> yes, thank you for sticking with us indeed. Uh, we're coming up. It's uh, it's almost our third channel anniversary. We'll be marking that very, very soon, you know, and we'll still find a way to do it in our own way, you know. If you've seen if you've seen the first, we've, we did it for the one year and the two year and the three year. It's coming up in just a couple of weeks, you know. So, uh, Stick around for that in the future. We'll we'll figure that out. Ha ha ha! You know. <laughs> so, did you see that? <laughs> he finds new ways to just surprise me. You know. <laughs> and that's why I love you. Is that you're so quiet and unpredictable. You know. Okay, well, that's going to do it for now. <laughs> I can't do any more. Uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Please hit that button. Yeah, hit the, hit the like button. Leave us a comment. Mm -hmm. And also, what should they do when they subscribe? Uh, click the notification bell so they get notified when we post new videos. Yes, indeed. And we'll see you guys next time. We love you very much. Mwah. Bye. Bye.